Hey, countdowns. That's it's kind of cool. Feature of my software. I didn't like it. I don't have me check a couple things. Hopefully the audio is better because I think I've been turning things down way too far and then I forget like for Bears and Dragons to turn it back up. I is smart. Anyways, here we are. All right, so progress update. Uh, I got all my four jobs to 78. So I'm close, but oh, so far away. Take some more food while we continue here and talk to China's here. We're getting close to launching a thing. Oh, uh, additional thing. Ether currents. Check that out. After this quest, I can fly in Kalusha. Right, uh, so while, while the two of you are away, I received word that everything is placed, meaning we can proceed with awakening the Talus. Once we imbue the magic, it will stir itself and immediately carry out its designated functioning, meaning taking, taking Mount Goog by its grasp. Eskos, you may be certain that Valthry will not look at on in idleness. As we beat a path to his door, once our plans are set in motion, there will be no turning back. So see to your preparations as meticulously as you may, and I will give you the order to proceed as soon as you are ready. Yeah, I'm ready. The bird, and I will relay the order to awaken the talus. Engage. Sorry, but I need more time. Engage. <laughs> So, so we could have something less witty than engage. We, we can't do that. It's either now or never. One or the other. Very well. Let us begin. Okay. Thanks, Pedikin. Following. Appreciate it. I'm not sure if there's voiceover on this, but... If not, it's big. Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Then you need only say the word. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch Vorthry, mountain and all. Robert, what do you think? This race doesn't look like much from the other Talos, but I suppose this is a different creature altogether. Yes! 
You've not lost your touch, you clever old bugger! See what they're doing? If its hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh, I knew this was a terrible idea. Four three marshals the eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. Is that? Such a heartless thing or something is cold and cruel and heartless! <laughs> <laughs> Summon us in times of deed, we expressly said, yet what should we find but the final battle joined without so much as a whisper of our name? <laughs> I love them all so much. Uh, I love them. Yes, yes, we may also have said that we fey folk have no interest in the struggles of men. Had to do quick chat moderation. But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to his aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with him? We are so very, very sad. You will play with us. Cheer us up again! <laughs> I think they're mad at me. This I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. I will send word to Yostela and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gulg and be ready to make the ascent. Why did I start late today? If anybody was wondering, it was because uh, <laughs> I spent a little t too much time uh, uh, a little leveling my other classes, other jobs. Hold on, I need to do it. This is not my bandit. I just want to hide it. There we go. I have found that Malika's Well, the last dungeon we were in, is kind of one of my favorites. I like execute that no matter what role I'm in, like pretty pretty well. Go this way. Actually, I think either way actually gets me to where I want to go, but. Or maybe not. 
Nah, go ask a tree. I did get a few uh, upgrades from uh, <laughs> from my Malika's Weld Barroom. Got through the ravel. This is the path I needed, I think. Every, everyone is here. Good. Talus has uh, taken hold of the mountain. As planned, we will use this body to bridge to reach Vathri's sanctuary. The Sin Eaters will make us work for every yom, of course. And we will carve a path through their ranks and meet with their master, regardless. That's when there's a rotten egg. It's very Essegosian. Like, I think they're mad at me. <laughs> I think on Elegos for the for the, about the fail of he just I just said, Thank you, fail of <laughs> That's because like mm, uh, they're mad at me. <laughs> All right, for a party, uh, I'm melee, so I'm definitely going to take either Stola. Uh, you know what, Alpha No, this is kind of Alpha No's area. I mean, he we found him. He was doing stuff in. He was doing stuff in uh, uh, Yulmore this entire time. Vothri, he's so much to it. I'm gonna story wise, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna take the twins with me, and of course, I, there's only one other. There's one tank. <laughs> I only have one choice. I have pretty much all the abilities I use as a as a monk, except for six sided star. The only thing about six sided star is I never know when appropriate time to use it is, because it's five hundred forty potency and it has an in additional effect of increases my movement speed for five seconds. It takes talent to find the point. I, I suppose it's like. Do one final attack before you run away from somewhere, and it gives you a little bit faster speed. Uh, but then it also slows your recast timer, which, as a monk, you have a pretty f recast timer. Like, right now, it's at 1.94 seconds, which compared to, <laughs> which is uh, over half a second faster than the, the standard GCD.
Ah, damn it.
Shoot. God damn it. Well, can't use that. The rogue thing. A rogue thing, a ninja thing, because rogues are classes, and classes are... After level 30, it's all about jobs, they're classes. I level of this fourteen. Ooh. Peace.
One of the things that annoys me about the, the trust is that <laughs> well, not good enough. One thing that annoys me about the trust is that they don't use their their abilities, even in their in range, and they've successfully gotten position to dodge. They'll dodge and just stand there doing nothing. For no reason whatsoever. See, Alize was there in his in the tip box. She can even do rage attacks and just stood there.
Oh, well. And of course, Maiming Gear, which you can use. I am righteousness! Righteousness will prevail! Excuse me. Yeah, I got some for my healer. Once I get him up to <laughs> 79, they only need one more level for that.
will not be discouraged. Final boss time. Given obscenity, the consort of sin. Lay you engaged, thank her. Ah, it's here. Ah, ah, not an itchy ear during a fight. my rotation I never say I'm the best player at this I just like playing she restricts the field and Thancred is off the thing come on Thancred move When the buttons I wanted to have press didn't actually press. My cooldowns are off. Well, I'm just gonna come over here. All right. Now, Ali's a. Let me do the limit break, will please? Oh, apparently I was still in what was considered to be melee range.
It's lovely how the... The floor has lines and just it, like this intricate pattern, which, but still kind of telegraphs, hey, this is where things <laughs> that are fired off will fire off. I think they do, to, do that a lot. Give us a better idea of where on the floor places will actually hit. There we are. That wasn't the light warden. It could only mean one thing. Trial. Alright, let's turn up the volume and see the cutscene that's after this thing. In. And it gave me a dupl it had a duplicate item in that chest. The end is near, my friends. We have found Vortra's hiding place. Unrepentant villains! Will you not will be you not so satisfied until you have brought disaster, disaster down upon your, your, your own heads? heads. By, By your, your wickedness, wickedness, you stand, you stand to gain not ceaseless copy. Had you had only, you only trust trusted fate, fate, fate to me, to me there would there have, would have been, been peace for all. all. You, you could, could have, have lived blissless in my eternal paradise, paradise free, free from the from burdens, the burdens of, of constant purpose. Peace assumes many forms, and I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. I was even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Peace for all, you say. Yet when you were threatened, your first act was to sacrifice your own people in order to save yourself. If your paradise can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Hear me, Vorthri. The people won't submit to your will, for we each have our own. I made a promise to a noble soul, a woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Everyone who stands with us has something precious. Something that they cherish and would die to protect. They know their own hearts. They know what they want for this world. And by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield! Silence! Silence! Not another word! You presume to lecture me, insolent worms. You will learn your place. With my true powers awakened, I will expunge you like the filth you are. Your demise will serve as a reminder to all! That I am the zealous of mankind and sin eater both, chosen to rule over creation by right of transcendence. My very existence is virtuous. I am perfect, immaculate. He seems disinclined to grant us an audience. Find Vorthri. We will hold the eaters here. 
Come, let's finish this. The crown of the immaculate. Trial, which means that our trust people do not attend. They're they're busy uh, fighting Senator, so let's uh, pop over to Trials. Trials sit around the Immaculate. Aww. We can't leave this circle? But we head up there. It must be down there is where we ended up. So we're probably even higher up. It doesn't look like clouds? Or above primordial light. This is heaven! I don't know what we want to do while we're waiting. We see if we can get Ramhorn Zucchini. I don't know, it says less than five minutes. Let me catch your gully. Level up some gathering professions, shall we? Don't worry, Valtry, I'll get to you. Here's my key pops. Like over here. There it is. We're gathering. There we are. Don't worry, we'll tell about of part back to Kalusha from here, so and I'm flying my chokeball. My yole. Oh, there we go. I haven't done this in a while. Are you so determined to die? One last chance, villains. Bow down and acknowledge your king. Your I'm surprised you could walk.
Look away! Look away! Please change. Now Voth returns sexy. Although that hair really is a turn off for me, but that's just a me thing. I, I'm not a long hair guy. Oh, I'm the only melee. I just realized that. We got two summoners, a bard, and me for DPS. All right, two bars of LBE. Didn't get out of there fast enough. It's all right, I'm still alive. You move now. Yeah, that's true. The tank LB? Well, I suppose it means we survive. Tank LB is, is okay. 
Maybe maybe we'll get the. Uh, I'll be. Oh, I can't remember where it is. Ugh. Oh shit. There we go. Spooky baby. Here it comes. All right. Turn up the volume. We got a cutscene. This is final centimeter. What happens? Oh, last time we got the uh, light, it was kind of playful. Is, is that full three? I see. Finally over then. Our night will return to all of Novrent, bringing salvation to both of our two worlds. On speaking with Reen, several cutscenes will play in sequence. That's okay, we got time. We just started the stream. It is recommended that you set aside significant time to view these scenes in its entirety. As I said, we just started the stream. Okay, so we've been at this for an hour. But still, we got time. Should you leave the area, you, must, you may return here by speaking with the sentry posted at the entrance to Mount Gook. Also means, is there two minutes complete? I can fly in Kalusha, but there's a series of cutscenes. Do that. Why? Why am I cast out? But it is you who are the villains. Father told me that I am hope. I am righteousness, and I am a god. That is why I was born as man and city to both. I kept the people safe. They respected me. Worship me. How can this be? I should be the one. 
looking down at you. Did we just die already? Got a job to do. Seriously, this guy's would probably kick him in the face. Be like, shut up! I'll take that light. That's not so bad. Hey. Hey. Look. The sky. It's nice to see the night sky. Hey, what? Echo? Oh, I knew this chamber. Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. That voice sounds familiar. Oh, those boots look familiar. Those robes. Those gloves. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One well, that will it. ensure the longevity of your reign. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being, a king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. Before my Vorthri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. Didn't fall three essentially become fat and complacent? Damn it! No. Oh. Ah! Are you alright? Ah! Uh. 
say something. Uh, 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 hey, uh, Twelve for send. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Orange, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. It's changing back. The combined power of every Light Warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. Exarch, what are you doing? I will channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower, and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here, in this dying realm, when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you! No! No! I don't believe you! It doesn't make sense! Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please! Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Uriange. Tis all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrent. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter. I concede. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free. Safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Remain silent or call him by his name. Asagos. I think as it goes with essentially glare at him. So you remain silent. Thank you for fighting for this world. For believing. Fare you well, my friend. My inspiration.
Emit fucking silk. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the crystals. All likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you, let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now, halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. It was you who created Vothry, wasn't it? <sighs> I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided he could contain and control the light. If not, then he, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away, and I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Hmm. You still retain your form and your senses, but you have all but become a Sin Eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into Sin Eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet Sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you. But before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Ah, oh, the irony. What Vorthry achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Exarch! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. 
He is a small token for my troubles. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. And I pass out. Till then, I bid you farewell. Eater. What happened? After you collapsed, Emmet Selk vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. It's all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. I can fly in Kalusha. I'm not in Kalusha right now. That's okay. Okay. Right.
I'm going to pause here just for a minute because I need to refresh my coverage. So, be right back. We'll continue. Short break.
All right. Let's continue this. Oh, oh, sir, you're awake. You were injured during the foray at Mount Goog. Goog, yes? I was here at the station, as always, when we, they carried you in the makeshift stretcher, looking disturbingly bereft of figure. And to compound my word, this guy was, well, I'm sure you've seen. There's every, everyone was rather concerned, to say the least. Seeing you up and about in this first good news we've had in a while, assuming you feel strong enough, would you mayhap consider a stroll on in the city to reassure an, our anxious citizens? Bragi was one of those who helped convey you to your chambers, and he has visited several times since to inquire of your condition. Market. Ah, oh, well, look who's back from the dead. Aye, it was a grim sight. Your companions looked fair, ready to drop when they brought you in, or offered a helping hand. Couldn't bear to see them struggle so. And you, my friend, feared you were one foot in the grave, old and lifeless. You were like a corpse that somehow still breathing. Then they told me some evil bastard went and snatched our poor exile away in the mix of the chaos. Dwight, what in the world's coming to? Bah! Ammonia has never solved a thing, did it? It's time like these that we Crestarium folk stand tall and do what needs to be done. Trade with Yulmore is back on the table. We're best make, we'd best make use of the resources to fortify the city against the eaters or whatever misery the fates deem fit to throw at us next. Speaking of misery, Chesimale was worried sick about you. Healer wringing her hands is not a sight you, wish you, you ever wish to see. Let me tell you. How do you get up there? This is like the one that's in Kagane. It's one that's on a lamppost in Kagane. I think you have to go through a jumping puzzle or something to get onto it. Oh, oh, sweetie, you're alive. No one's been allowed to see you. Even the Spraggot's Kyrugians were forbidden from making visits. Green was kind enough to tell, tell me you were showing symptoms similar to eater corruption, so I suppose there was little any of us could have done for you in any case. As for your companions, they've been rushing hither and yon, seeking a cure to your condition. I worry to see their faces... I worry to see their faces grow ever more haggard every time they pass through the Crystarium. I shall let them know you're awake, and when they come to see you, sweetie, please do convince them to rest a bit. We'll be helping anyone if they all collapse from exhaustion. Oh, and our own Moren has been has been a little better, I'm afraid. He hasn't left the cabinet too busy with his nose buried in one dusty tome or another. I mean, I almost would say, isn't that what he usually does? He's the keeper of the Cabinet of Curiosities. He likes books. They're very important. Let's go. Didn't anybody tell you to never run upstairs? Confound it. This says the same thing as the last. May have I approached the problem with a different perspective. Well, huh? as it goes, is it truly you? Some figment of my imagination. Oh, but this is wonderful. It would seem our prayers have been answered. Feeling otherwise helpless, I've been scouring our shelves with the wisdom to explain this worrisome conundrum. 
Why, with all the light ones defeated, has the light returned to obscure the sky? I must have poured over a hundred tomes, but no definite conclusion seems for forthcoming. So my questions, so many questions I would pose to the Axar, but the, the, and thus do I feel his absence all the more keenly. Now that you're awake, however, I'm hopeful the search for a stolen steward might, might begin in earnest. Catless, meanwhile, leads the crystalline mean is prepep is in leads the uh, Catless, meanwhile, leads the crystalline mean in preparations for battle. Though against what foe we are yet uncertain. Why not pay a visit? I expect seeing you outright will be a much welcome upright. Will be much welcome relief. Essigos, alive and well, I see. You gave us all a proper fight, you know. Not a day has gone by that I haven't heard people worrying about what's become of you or the Exarch. Anyway, I'm glad you've recovered enough to stand. We're not planning on striking out straight away, though, are you? I was hoping to have a better look at your equipment. If we'd been able to provide you with better weapons or sturdier helms, then maybe you would have won the day and the Exarch would still be here. As such, we're keeping busy consulting each other for, for on new forging techniques and designs and the like. If you could, could stand still a moment, I'd like to assess the gear you're tr we're trying to improve. Ah, oh, well. That's some fine work, I must admit. It wouldn't be impossible to make something better, but we need to experiment with different patterns and materials. I'm not sure we have that kind of time. That sounds like a challenge that he would enjoy. Greetings, Gernot. The master of the stairs is run running his own errands now, is he? Ah. Uh. Well, my servers are distraught enough as it is, and I didn't want to crack the whip too hard. But never mind that. I'm thinking our abs absent genius and his epiphanies are the perfect answer to this predicament of yours. By genius, you mean old Grenolt? He is a man of unrivaled gifts. I won't argue you there. But what good does his talent do if we can't bloody find him? No one has seen a hide nor hair of Grenolt since he wandered off some years ago. You know what he's like once he latches onto an idea. He's probably cloistered himself in some forgotten cave, completely absorbed in his latest creation. We don't even know where to start looking. That does make things difficult. Still, if that eccentric is someone you're destined to meet, I wager he'll show up soon enough. In my time at the bar, many tales have been heard told of strangely... Faded encounters, even if a few of them might be stretching the truth just a bit. We'll keep our noses to the grindstone for the time being, but on the off chance you do encounter a Grenold, would you be wise to take advantage of his brilliance rather than wait for our slow and steady progress? This is all talk of when you've fully recovered, of course. I'll let you get back to convalescing. Ah, before you do that, you're actually the reason I came over here in the first place. I don't suggest partaking in my stock until you're properly well, but if you're passing near the stairs, then I have a regular who's eager to meet you. I'd best be getting back. Just because the world's coming apart at the seams doesn't mean we have to follow suit now, does it? Here, here. We can't forget the heart upon which this city was founded. But the Exarch might not have much of a home to return to. Ah! 
Oh, I got my first level lady. <laughs> uh, this is a level 79 quest. Atlas looks at you with a concerned eye. Atlas goes, are you all right? I think a return to your sickbed might be in order. Oh, and you might consider resting a while atop the watchtower next to the work rookery. Rookery. The standable sky doesn't make for the most soothing scenery, but the axe art often like to stand there and feel the wind upon his face. All right, so I'm going to do this quest. And then I think I'm going to get the rest of my classes to day 80 before continuing. For reasons, because this is kind of the point. Well, for one thing, I'm currently level 80. I'm a level 79 quest, which has a bunch of XP that I could earn. And in some sense, would be kind of waste on a class which is max level. What's I find the point where it's like I'm gonna get to the point where it's gonna finish this quest is where I'm gonna stop. I'm I'm not even gonna finish it. And I think I'll stop the stream Get everything the 80 and the next time you see me, which who knows, maybe it's going to be later tonight. I'm going to try to get everybody as close to 80 as possible. How many quests do I have that left for, for level 79? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's either getting them all to 80 or getting as close to, to yeah, uh, 80 as possible. Actually. Cause I don't want to just do spirit. I'll give them that. They've not lost the will to fight. I can imagine how torn you must feel looking at that sky, knowing what it means to everyone, and that you're responsible. All such a mess. I, an all too familiar one. Here you stand alone, expecting no one else to bear the burden for you. corner, and there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. But that doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. I remember looking up at the sky like this before. Being caught up in a strange kind of calm. It was after we realized we were responsible for the flood. When we resolved to journey to the source by taking our own lives. 
One last sacrifice. One last fight. One last failure. And then the Oracle appeared and... Well... You know the rest. There were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. That we'd made one last mistake. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any doubts I still had. Always, always we took the burden of fighting upon ourselves. That's what heroes do, isn't it? And so we never had the chance to see anything like that. Our people coming together as one. To think that their hope still burns so bright. That they were still so eager to live they would lift up their fellows, one on top of the other, till they reached the sky. No. We made the right decision. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. Well, come on then. As I thought, what happened between us was no coincidence. My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role in yours. Expected as much the moment I realized you could hear me. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. I was afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. But no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. For what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. So, let us be about it, hero. Oof. This is one of those emotional moments. You were up here all alone, brooding and fretting and wallowing in your woes. But look at you, grinning at nothing like a pollen drunk pixie. <laughs> I love that. <Pharaoh. laughs> I love them so much. Look at what you've done to your ether. It's a mess. And you have cracks running all through that pretty soul of yours. My poor little sapling. Whatever am I to do with you? Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. Cut ties with the mortal world. Hide away in the castle. It won't fix the problem. But would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Eel Meg will rise up in your defense. My crown and scepter are yours, if you want them. What? Don't give me that look! Of course <laughs> I knew before I asked that you'd never ever heed such a wicked suggestion! And besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? My 
Dear beloved sapling, you are lost, confused, and have precious little time to gather your wits. Your kind is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead, and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour. But such trickery is easy to see through. Stand very, very still. Think not of where you need to go, but where you are right now at this moment, at this time, in this place. Our cairn of crystal. From shadowed hood he watched you go, his ruby eyes with warmth aglow. See yourself as he saw you, and that shall be the clearest clue. Grahatia. <clears throat> If you remember from our days back doing the Crystal Tower back in the Realm Reborn. You Much stand older. in his garden, dear sapling. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. But what will you do with it, I wonder? Well, I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. Let's go gather information about the Exarch. Oh. Help! Nope! Okay. We're gonna try too hard. I'll talk to Zen... Zen Mai. Or me, or me. Oh, did you not expect to see you on your feet so soon? Surely you have not come to search of an amaro. Can you tell me a little about the crystal exit? What do I know? The crystal exit? I'm happy to share, but I fear there is no surprise in the revelations. As any in the city would tell you, he is a man of wisdom and compassion. Many untold secrets. But none can doubt his generosity. When the Crystallium was being constructed, he even allowed folk to plunder this tower for resources. He was imposed. He has imposed no restrictions upon us but one. No one except the Exarchs to permitted to dwell within the spire. Many seasons passed, the comrade mine was bold enough to ask the reason why. The Exarch merely smiled and said, as one day the Crystal Tower may vanish as suddenly as it arrived. Where else? The Amaro launch. And in then the cabinet of curiosities. Through the Amaro launch. To Cassard. That's a ghost. It's good to see you awake and alert, my friend. What do you know about the crystal? Oh, what's this about? You're not writing the Exarch's memoirs, are you? I'm not sure how much I, I can tell you, considering you, we avoid asking too many questions. Unspoken rule, we don't. Hmm. If anybody has fresh insight to share, that would be Captain Lena. Hey. She lost her parents in an eater attack not long after she was born, and the Exarch saw to her upbringing. 
Outward appearances aside, those two are like grandfather and granddaughter. I imagine the news of his predicament hit her doubly hard. Not that our proud captain would ever let it show. If you do decide to talk to Lena, she'll be at her usual post at the Assessor Gate. Was there something else you needed? If you come for the results of my research in this persistent light, I'm afraid there's little to tell as of yet. Probably turn that volume. Records pertaining to the Exarch, well, I have no documentation to rely, re relay what little I know of its history, if that's what interests you. Less than a decade ago has passed since the coming of the Flood. Less than a guessing had passed since the coming of the Flood, when the Crystal Tower first first flashed into existence. Its summoner, the Axok himself, became known himself, became known to the refugees in Lakeland soon after. He welcomed all who would who sought out the spire, be they locals who lost their homes or Vobotites, it's fleeing their ruined kingdom, and together did they found the city of which would become the Crystarium. Some sought to call him king, but he refused to share to share his name. But the summoner did not deem himself worthy of did not deem, see, and the summoner did not deem himself worthy of royal address. Thus did the people consider his uh, silenine skin, and so alike to the tower he had, had summoned, and bestowed upon him the title of Crystal Exarch. As for his true name, well, it does seem that uh, that mystery that seems unsolved to this day. I know it. Grahatia. Back when we were exploring the Crystal Tower back on the source. He was one of our companions. In Noah. Let's go to the Assessor Gate, which is out in Lakeland. Which we could fly. Asikos, I have not spoke to you, but told you you had woken. A welcome surprise. Now, if only the Exarch had was returned to us. He was taken by this rival of yours, was he not? Your companions mentioned that, that they had an idea of where to find him. And so I bristled when they asked, they asked for patience. I did not understand their hesitation until I saw that you had fallen. Only then did I realize I had no business rushing ahead. Even so, the delay has been no less agonizing. In the moments before he left to join you in Kalusha, the Exarch entrusted me with a key. It opens a door, door in the ocular, a chamber known as the Umbilicus. This room is the heart of the tower in which only the Exarch himself is permitted to enter. He bid me allow none into the tower when Sirius departed, only that in the event of an army of eaters descending upon the city, that I was I to access the Ambicus and awaken the defense barrier. Never before had he left me such, with such instructions, but the battle with Vothry loomed near, and at the time I accepted the key without much thought. Since then, however, the moment is, the moment is all that occupies my mind. When I call, they look on. Recall the look on his face. He knew that some knew that some terrible fate awaited him. Tell me, Yasikos. I need to know what he feared. What battle you and your companions were truly fighting? Can't really say. Forgive me. 
I trust in the Axarch and I should not be voicing these doubts when he is not here to respond to them personally. But you have come to me with questions of your own, have you not? Tell me about the Exarch. Huh. I see I am, I am not the only one who burns with questions. Burns for answers. The time has come to open the tower's heart. Though we do not face an invasion of eaters, I suspect the city will be in far more d danger if we do not gain the knowledge you see. Okay, I'm going to decline. So we'll get back to Lena uh, the next time I start up the stream. I'm going to go offline and uh, level up my characters to 80 or uh, close to 80 so I can actually use that XP that's part of these quests. And um, that way we can also do the role quests because in order to really finish the main or quests of Shadowbringers, you have to complete at least one of the role quests. But for the, these purposes, I'm going to finish them all, mainly because I'm like you to see it. I liked them. I thought it was enjoyable, and there was, to me, there felt like a big connection, and in having that full story was great. So I really strongly suggest, if anything, find your favorite class, or favorite job, I should say, when doing this. Find your favorite job and then fi find your favorite of whatever role that job doesn't do. So just to, to kind of give you what I mean by roles, look at classes here. And we're talking about uh, Disciple of Magic and Disciple of War. So the four role quests are Tank, Healer, Physical DPS... A magical DPS. So physical DPS actually covers both melee and ranged physical. So if I had leveled up dancer, dancer, I would not be able to do the magical range because it's really about magic and is kind of the theme of that one, as we've we've already seen by I think I did two of each one of them, three of them. Already. So pick your magician, either Thaumaturge, Arcanist, uh, actually, Thaumaturge, Summon, or actually, let me, let me rephrase. Black Mage, Summoner, or Red Mage, the only three that can do that. Um, uh, white Mage, yeah, here's kind of a, a way to kind of like cheat. If you do Summoner, as you level Summoner, you would also level Scholar. Because they're both based off of Arcanist as their kind of base role, or the base class. So that would be a way to just have, be like leveling three jobs, but you actually get four jobs out of it. I didn't do that because I kind of wanted to jump ahead. Head, so it's because Red Mage starts at 50 instead of... So I, I basically have one of each expansion. <laughs> I have Monk, which was, was original ARR. Heaven's Word brought in Astrologian, or Astrologian, as I think is the official pronunciation. Red Mage came in Stormblood, and uh, Gunbreaker came in uh, Shadowbringers. So we have this thing where Monk, I started level one as a pugilist. At level 30, after I Got my pugil my monk to fifty. <laughs> my astrologer started at thirty. Uh, at that same time, because I was already fifty, I also picked up red mate. Those basically, I didn't have to level one through thirty on, or in the case of red mage, one through fifty on. And then once I got to sixty, I was able to unlock gunbreaker to. Uh, so I have a tank. It just made it so I had to level less during it. So that's kind of one path that you can go to um dancer i could have gone dancer but i would still have had to get to dancer and, and gunbreaker came in uh, in shadowbringers i could have done dancer for my physical dps uh, 
but uh yeah it, it i i like him too much besides it felt more to have melee ranged healer tank kind of the four positions i don't know if they would call it that but I'm going to do that, I'm going, and then the next time I stream will um, hopefully be near enough to 80 that once we hit 80, we can just do all the roll quests, get those out of the way, and finish up the Shatterbringer's main storyline for the patch. We get six. Is considered 6.0? 5.0. Ah, 5.0. Excuse me. And once we get, get on all through that, we'll move on to the uh, post game. And hopefully, we'll have it all done for Shadowbringers. And hopefully, hopefully, somewhere along the lines, I'll be. Um, actually, once we complete everything from Shadowbringers for the main story, um, hopefully, I'll have all of my my classes in all the jobs in on my main as Eligos to max and at that point I will use the new game plus feature and show you the quest lines the neat very neat quest lines that each of the jobs have like all of them uh, Arcanist Scholar You know, each one of these have, has a different quest line. Some of them are shorter than others, obviously. Dancer and Gunbreaker starts at 60. Uh, Samurai and Red Mage start at, at uh, 50. And Astrologian and Machinist and Dark Knight uh, started at 30. So they're a little shorter than the others. But we also get a two-for-one with Summer and Scholar, so... Uh, well... I got some work cut out for me. Uh, it's also really hot here. I'm very warm. So if I get get everybody to where I want them to be, I think I might try to get Gunbreaker and Astrology to 80, use Red Mage for the main story quest to 80, then switch back over to Monk, uh, and, and then continue from there. Um, well, switch... switch. Which over have Red Mage up high enough that I can use the remaining seven, level 79 main story quest to finish him. So I might just get Red Mage up to 79. Now it's it's gonna be tricky math. How much how much are these? They are 1.6 million. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to try to get it within six or seven million of 80. So the goal would be that the last level 79 quest I would ding 80 be the hope that's the plan but I don't want to bore you with a bunch of dungeon grinding <laughs> we're just going to get off right here thank you for watching we'll see you when I can uh, keep it up keep follow uh, keep following and you'll see notices if you're on the uh, Grizzly Falls Discord. Uh, I will post when I return. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, check out the next video.